Welcome, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that you guys have been requesting. It is my fall college nighttime routine. So I just had my last class of the day, which was yoga. Right now it is about five o'clock. My night routine does vary every day just because some days I have practice, some days I don't. Today I don't, so let me know in the comments if you wanna see a separate night routine on a day that I do have practice, just because that's a little bit different from like a day that I don't have to do anything. Some other weeknights too, I have clubs, but tonight I literally have like nothing to do. That being said, I do have a lot of homework and schoolwork that I'm gonna try and get done today because I know I'm gonna be busy after school on other days this week. Right now, I think I'm gonna head to the library to meet some of my friends and we're gonna just crank out a bunch of work. Okay, daylight savings time. It's really that much of a good thing. Like, we get one hour of extra sleep and look how fucking dark it is. Okay, it looks really bright in the camera, but it's really dark in real life. It gets dark at like five and it feels like eight o'clock right now. I just don't really like it and that's my rant of the day. Anyways, I have a few assignments I need to do. I really wanna work on this work study thing I have to do. Work study is with one of my film professors. She's coming out with two films and a book right now, so I'm helping her with a lot of that. She wants me to help her find like music, and that's really hard, <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best. And then I'm also gonna try and crank out my math homework. You know it's not due till Monday, and today's Wednesday. <laughs> and we just left the library. Got a lot of work done, right guys? I did. Now we're heading to the dining hall to have dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna have because at first I wanted a salad, but I feel like that's not gonna fill me up now because I'm pretty hungry. But we have a lot of options in our dining hall, actually. We have pizza, sandwiches, sushi, salad, self-serve, one that breakfast, we like vote on every, sandwiches. yeah, breakfast, like chicken. We have like a lot of Wait, things so back there. Are the potatoes there? Oh yeah, I hope they have like this new station where they have like potatoes and french fries like loaded and we really want to try it but it keeps being closed whenever we go. And it's only here for like a week. There's a station where the students get to vote on what is there for that week and that was what got voted. <laughs> decided to get a salad for dinner. I got this, if you guys saw my what I eat in a week video, I got this in that video and I haven't been able to find it here since that. So now I'm having it because I saw it and I couldn't resist it. So how I was saying that I don't want to practice tonight. We are going to an event, pottery night. You either get to paint or like make a cat or a lantern. We're gonna check that out and hopefully it's a lot of fun. There's events on campus all the time. Like earlier there was a bracelet event and I made this um like rock bracelet. Look at, we get to paint these teacups. It looks like a little elephant. And these are my paint colors, so I'm gonna do green. It's like this speckly green color. It's gonna be on the outside, and then white for like the nose and eyes, and then blue for the inside. And there's no one here. There's no one here. What about me? <laughs> it ended. We finished our mugs and we get them back in like two oh, weeks. No, oh, a week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the next thing we do at night is go to Pace Perk a lot. Sasha's order is ready. We're back in the dorm and I wanted to show you guys what I got from Pace Perk. So Pace Perk, I feel like I never really explained what it is. It's like our late night food option on campus. It's more like chicken tenders, milkshakes, french fries, that sort of thing. I got a chocolate milkshake and I got pizza rolls. Let me down by the beach. Nighttime 
routine is taking a shower, which actually is a consistent part of my nighttime routine. I know these last few things have been not something I do every night, obviously. Every night I do try and shower. I just don't wash my hair every day. My hair is really dry. If I wash it every day, it just gets thinner and thinner and drier and deader. So I try not to wash it every single day. Right now I'm just taking off my makeup. I used to use makeup wipes, but it was really drying out the inner corner of my eye for some reason. So I switched to this Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover and I just use cotton rounds to like wipe off my face and it works a lot better and my skin does not dry out. I only wear eye makeup so this is perfect for me. I'm just gonna quick show you guys the products that I use in the shower. I'm not like a beauty guru. I don't really know that much about like self-care products. So I'm gonna show you guys my products by no means. Like don't take this as like you should definitely use this. But if you have recommendations, like I said, my hair is really dry and it's curly like slash wavy. So that's why I chose to use these products on it. But if you have a recommendation for another product that could be better, let me know in the comments. So for my shampoo and conditioner, I just use Sun Balm, even though it's like the winter now. I use this Curls and Waves one for the shampoo and normally I would use this as the conditioner too. When I went to buy this they didn't have any Curls and Waves conditioner so I just got the revitalizing conditioner because like I said my hair is really dry. For soap I just use this Bathman Body Works Sunshine Mimosa Body Soap. It smells so good. I have the same smell of perfume too because I like to match all my products to the same scent. The last thing I use is just this shaving cream Skin to It makes your skin so soft so that's why I choose to use this one. I love to listen to music while I'm in the shower and right now I'm actually gonna listen to this playlist that Fran made for me It's called for Bianca. She made it for me in the beginning of the year because I really liked the music She was listening to I can link it in the description probably I'll figure out how to do that I'm out of the shower and I don't really have a skincare routine per se. This is the only skin product that I use is this Neutrogena moisturizing face cream. I just put it on after I get out of the shower. If I don't, then my skin feels like really like tight on my face. Fran, I think we should get in the fall vibe, so I'm gonna change the color of the lights. Whoa, that's like really dark. I wanted orange. So now after I'm done showering, typically we will either read or we will like watch Netflix or something. The book we're reading right now is The Thursday Murder Club. We just started it the other day, so I can't really tell you that much about it yet. But as you guys know, I love reading, so I did want to tell you about one thing. So I got this idea from the TikTok account, All the Rad Reads. I just saw this and I thought it was the best idea and I just had to make one myself. It is a book bullet journal. So basically I started to make mine for 2022 since 2021 is like basically almost over. Basically, it's a way that I'm gonna be able to track my reading for next year because I love reading and sometimes I slack on it. So this is just gonna make me like keep up with it. So in the front of the book, I just have an index where I have like what is on what page. Um, my goal next year is to read 50 books, which might not seem like a lot, but that's almost a whole book every week. A page where I'm gonna put the little book covers of all my five star books for that year. And then I have a little section for each month. So each month has a cover page a place where I'm going to put the books I read that month, their star readings and some notes about them, and then a stats page. Like I said, I got like mostly all of these ideas from all the Rad Reads TikTok accounts, so I don't want you guys to think that I came up with this all on my own. Literally almost all of these ideas are directly from her account, just like a different layout in my book. So I've recently just started making this, but you guys should let me know if you want to see more and any other videos that are book related because like I said, I love reading and I have so many recommendations for you guys. Basically, the point of me saying all that was because I've been working on that a lot at night lately, but I'm not gonna be working on that tonight. Tonight, Fran and I are going to actually watch this YouTube video that Fran has been like really wanting us to watch. It's on the channel Sam and Colby. I personally haven't watched any of their videos, but we started watching this one last night. It's their video where they go into the conjuring house and stay there overnight. It's the one where they're by themselves. It's part of their hell week thing. So it came out on Halloween, right Fran? So we're gonna finish watching that. We only got like 20 minutes in, maybe not even. today's video this is going to be the end of my nighttime routine right now it is 1 40 in the morning i love you all thank you so much for watching subscribe for videos every tuesday and friday at 3 p.m follow all my social media in the description down below and i will see you in the next video I don't know where
Don't to call it 